Hi everyone and happy Wine Wednesday. If you are new to the channel, I'm Allie from A Glass After Work. Thanks for joining. Um, today I am going to share with you my Storybook Mountain Vineyards Wine Club. You may recall I've done a couple of other Storybook Mountain uh, wines before. It's uh, the winery that is my first wine club. I was introduced to them when I went out to the Wine Bloggers Conference back in 2009 and it was the first time that I had a Zinvindel. It was the first time I had been out to Napa. It's the first wine club I joined. So um, Storybook Mountain holds a really special place in my heart, um, as you can imagine. Um, I'd be interested to know, what was your first wine club? Do you remember? Um, so with that, why don't we dig right on in? This is the 2016 Make a Miss Range Zinfandel. And um, Storybook Mountain, they are a, um, they're a green winery and they follow all organic practices, um, which I know is definitely important to some folks. And why don't we take a look? So here's a, you can see it is a nice um, dark ruby. Uh, I actually expected it to have a little bit more purple since it's still a pretty young wine, um, but there's only there's only some flecks in the in the ruby. It's definitely started to change color a little bit. So on the nose, there's lots of blueberry, lots and lots of blueberries, and some tart raspberries, and a little bit of dust. I also so I admit, I don't know if this is more kind of my continuing to romanticize uh, Storybook Mountain and my first experiences there, or whether, whether it's really in there. But um, I really get this kind of wet foresty smell. Um, on the vineyards, they have this grove of redwoods, which is where we tasted the wine during the Wine Bloggers Conference. And it was such a beautiful setting and it, there were there was no way not to fall in love so i do i do sometimes wonder whether it's more the memory of it that makes me think about uh about the smell but anyway let's uh, give it a taste cheers oh i'm definitely getting some gum pull there so some pretty good Good strong tannins. Definitely also some some strong acidity. I am a little surprised. It's a little more on the medium body side. I kind of prefer it to be a little more medium to full or full bodied. Um, their wines don't tend to be full full bodied, but um, I could definitely use a, a, a touch more. But still, lots of blueberries. Those tart raspberries. Definitely an earthiness kind of on the back end of it. It's got a beautifully long finish. Um, it's the kind of wine that's perfect for like sipping, um, if it, especially since it's fall. Um, the weather doesn't necessarily feel like it here in DC. Hopefully uh, by you maybe it does, but if you're uh, doing campfires or sitting outside and uh, uh, sitting outside at night and enjoying, uh, enjoying the weather, this would be a perfect kind of campfire wine. It's also really good for, I really like it for barbecue, um, if you're doing a cookout. My favorite though is that we make this uh, slow cooker Asian short rib dish and this just, um, you talk about those kind of perfect pairings that blow your mind. Um, this is one of those things that every time we have those short ribs, I, I just, this is what I want to drink with it because it's just amazing. Um, so since uh, the way the wine club works is they give you three of the same uh, bottles, that's all I have to share with you today. I'll be sure to put all of the information about the winery and the wine club and the wine in the description below. And um, I would love to know if in the comments, uh, not only if you uh, remember what your first wine club is, but what, what that was, but also have you started to switch over to um, red wines? Uh, if you're a seasonal wine drinker, I know it's uh, probably not quite getting cool enough for you yet if, if, if you drink your wines based on season, but I'd be interested to know if you've started to make that switch. 
And also, did you drink anything fun on Labor Day? I'd love to know about that too. And with that, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate those. If you're not already a subscriber, you can do that by hitting the caricature here or the button down below. But don't forget to also click on the bell. It'll let you know when I've uploaded a new video, which is every Wine Wednesday. If you're looking for a recommendation, you can find one right over here. Thanks for joining me, and I hope you have a good Wine Wednesday. Cheers.